So what we're looking at with these ones here is the use of negative powers um, and what that means. So from the rule, if we have a to the power of negative m, that ends up being the reciprocal of a with m as a positive power. Now this this whole concept is really important because later on what happens is you're expected to write things in a positive index form. Um, I'm not sure what you do at the end of year 12, but I always say you should show it like this. Um, and you've got to provide, and, and the other thing is you've got to give an answer in how it's sort of given to you. Um, anyhow, we've got to look at how we're going to work through these four things first. So let me just delete that. It's gone. And it's gone. Okay. Cool. So let's see if we've got 3 to the power of negative 3. So that ends up being equal to 1 over 3, because that's our base, to the power of 3. And we know that 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So that ends up 1 over 20, whoops, 12. Silly. 27. Okay. This thing here. Um, now, why don't we try this one? We'll do this one here instead. That's y to the power of negative 5. So that ends up being equal to 1 over y because it's a negative power. And then because we've got a reciprocal, it ends up being 5. So this one here. Now, remember, if we don't have any powers, what should we write our powers being? 1. And what happens between these two powers and these two? They multiply. So we end up with 2 to the power of negative 2 over 7 to the power of negative 2. Because negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So from there, because of that, we can now write this as being, so we're writing this over here. And we can say that this negative, this thing here, we can read out the front. So we say it's 2 times, sorry, 2 to the power of negative 2 times 1 over 7 to the power of negative 2. Now, we know that this is rewritten as 1 over 2 squared. And by the same thing, this thing, because we've got a negative power at the bottom, that can be rewritten as 1 over 1 over 7 to the negative 2, which ends up being 7 to the power of negative 2 over 1. So what we're left with, and I'll do it here, we'll end up with this times this. So we've got 1 over 2 to the power of 2 times hmm hmm no, so it's because of that so this should become just the power of 2 ok, so then we have 7 to the power of 2 over 1. Um, and that happens because of this 1 over 1. So this I should have written as um, this um, sorry this here becomes this here and I'll remove that with my eraser. Don't I have an eraser? Hmm. Anyhow um, I'll cut up. So let's try that one again. So over here we're going to write this thing. So we've got 1 over 7 to the power of negative 2. That becomes this. And it's becoming 1 over 7 to the power of 2. And this is the 1 over that. So that's how we should have written. So this is how we should have written this thing here. So then as a result of that, because of the reciprocal, it becomes that. So then over here, we've now got 1 times 7 squared. So we have 49. 2 squared times 1 over 4. So that's where we end up with that one. Okay, last one. Now, just like we did before, if we've got a power out here, we multiply these powers in here. So this will end up becoming m, 2 times negative 1, negative 2, n, 3 times negative 1, negative 3. So that just becomes the reciprocal with positive powers, m2, n, 3. And that's all there is for, uh, for those ones. But typically, this 
is what students find confusing, and that's fair enough. So um, basically with this, you multiply the number, swap them over, and um, make the power positive, which is what we do here.